Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you switch the data source used for a report from one database to another, or even make simple structural modifications to the existing database, which involve renaming the fields within the tables that are used in the report, Crystal Reports will then need to remap the fields in the report to the new or changed fields within the associated database tables. You use the Map Fields dialog box to accomplish this. This dialog box is often invoked as a secondary process involved with database verification and changing the report's data source. It is used to manually make corrections between the report and the underlying data source. In the Map Fields dialog box you will see four separate lists of fields. The upper left list shows unmapped fields within the report which have not been associated with a field in the underlying data source. The potential fields with which the unmapped fields could be associated are listed in the upper right corner. The lower left corner are report fields which have successfully been mapped by Crystal Reports based on field names. In the lower right corner you can see the database fields with which the mapped report fields have been associated. You can manually create associations between the unmapped report fields and the potential database fields by selecting the field to map from the unmapped fields list and then clicking on a matching field in the list of database fields that appear to the right. Then click the map button at the right to create an association between the two fields. In order to make this process easier, ensure that the match type checkbox is selected. This will ensure that when you select an unmapped field, only potential fields of the same data type will then be displayed in the list to the right. Now, if you have mapped fields that shouldn't be mapped, you can select a report field from the list in the lower left corner of the Map Fields dialog box. You can then click the Unmap button to the right to disassociate the selected report field from its database partner in the list to the right. They will both then move back into the lists of unmapped report and database fields above. Once you've associated the desired report fields with the desired database fields, click the OK button. Note that you will often have to change additional information within the report, such as data labels used for the original report fields after mapping the data fields. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.